Hello again. The thumbnail to this video shows Mohammed Dalek and Jacqueline Scott, two black people who claim that black people were involved with Hadrian's Wall almost 2,000 years ago. There is not a word of truth in the idea, but then falsehood alone has never discouraged some of the more militant black people from making the most outrageous statements and daring anybody to challenge them. Well, I challenge them. When Jacqueline Scott goes to Hadrian's Wall and talks of the black history that is right here in the English countryside, she is either honestly mistaken, mad, or a frightful liar. There is no black history at all connected with Hadrian's Wall. Before I explain why, let me remark that cultural appropriation is generally regarded as undesirable these days. You know, when white people start dressing up as black people and so on. Not at all a good thing. When people of black African heritage, though, turn up at one of our historical sites and try and muscle in and claim that it had something to do with black Africans, you could trust the BBC to make a story out of it. I give a link to the BBC item in the description to this video. What has happened is that a few years ago a memorial was uncovered at Hadrian's Wall to a unit called the Aurelian Moors. And some silly people saw the word Moors and jumped to the conclusion that these were Moors in the sense of Othello the Moor. Blacker Moors. Black people. The province of the Roman Empire from which these Moors came was called Mauritania and it is where modern Morocco is. At the time of the Roman Empire Berbers were living there as they were in much of North Africa. The Berbers were not black, not in the least. Genetic analysis of modern Berbers, I give a link to this subject also in the description to this video, shows that the Berbers came from Europe and the Middle East about 50,000 years ago. They are related to the modern Laps, the reindeer herders of Scandinavia, and also to the people who lived in the Middle East before the Arab conquests. About 80% of modern Berber genes are European and Middle Eastern, with 20% from Sub-Saharan Africa. These genes are more recent though and probably come from slaves brought up into North Africa after the Arabs conquered the area in the 7th and 8th centuries, there probably wasn't any black genetic heritage amongst the uh, Berbers who were living there in Mauritania at the time of the Roman Empire. As if this was not clear enough, there were sculptures and paintings of the Moors at the time of the Romans. They are clearly not black. The aim of the enterprise in which the two black people in the thumbnail to this video are engaged is a simple one. They say that more needs to be done to engage ethnic minorities in the area's history. I'm all in favour of this if they mean getting black people to visit archaeological sites and museums to learn about British history. These characters have a rather different aim though. They hope to persuade people that it was not just white people who were stationed on Hadrian's Wall and guarded it as part of the army. The guy says that the first recorded African community to guard a fort in Britain 1800 years ago was in Berg, near Carlisle. And then his female sidekick chips in with a few words about the black history that is right here in the English countryside. See how neatly this is done. But it's not true. It was only white people in the Roman army there, mainly European, with a small number of men from the Middle East. There was no diversity at all at that site in the sense of people with different coloured skins. What we are seeing here is people without much of a history of their own trying to pinch our history and appropriate it for themselves. 